Hello, this is Mr. Stansberry. I'm going to take you through the notes on rules for integration. At the end of this, you should be able to say, I can integrate various functions. Okay. Uh, to take a look at some uh, important rules we have here, any constant factor within the integral may be written in front of the sign. So, for example, we've got this integral of 3x minus 6 with respect to x. These We can factor a 3 out of both of those, so you factor the 3 out here, and then this 3 can actually come out in front of the integral, so you just integrate this part, and then multiply your result by 3. Okay, And this is just the formula for that, showing if you've got a common fact, uh, you know, a constant k out here, you can just move it out in front. Okay, Another uh, very handy uh, rule would be that the integral of a sum is the sum of the separate integrals, which seems a little bit like a tongue twister here or something, but really what it's basically saying is if you've got the integral of two functions that are added together with respect to x, you can just turn that into the integral of one of the functions with respect to x plus the integral of the other function with respect to x and add those two things together. Okay, For example, the integral of 3x squared minus 5x plus 11 so what we want to do is take the find the antiderivative here. So right when we 2 plus 1 is 3 x to the third, and we divide by that 3 here. So we get 3x cubed over 3. Those 3s cancel out, turns into x cubed. This is 5x to the first. Add 1 to that, and that is 2. So that's where the 2 down here, but the x squared, and then the 2 down uh, below that comes into play. So negative 5x squared over 2, or negative 5 halves x squared. And then this is currently 11x. Um, there's nothing there, so really it's x to the 0. So we add 1 to that, and you take that. Officially, it's 11 over 1, which really doesn't do us. Dividing by 1 isn't going to change anything. But and that's a, x to the first, right? And so you simplify that to just 11x. And then we have to make sure we remember the constant over here, the c, our constant of integration. OK, uh, we're going to put some of these rules here to use in some examples here. OK, so we have these three here. So find the integral of this here with respect to x, integral, integral with respect to x's. OK, so this one here, this is where we want to use that second rule that we had. And we're just going to integrate each one of these here, right? So add 1, so that is. We have 4x, and that is 3 plus 1 is to the 4th. And then that 4 will also go under here. Those 4s will magically um, reduce with each other. And we're just ended end up with x to the 4th. Add 1 to this here. And that's negative 3x to the 3rd. And this 3 that we end up with out here also goes underneath. Those nicely go away. So that's minus x cubed. That's x to the 1st. Add 1 to that there, and that's plus x squared. And then that 2 here has to also go underneath. And then oops, minus, remember that's x to the 0. But we take the 0 and we add 1, right? And so that's x 11x to the first. And we end up dividing by 1, which really doesn't do anything. And then we have to add the c, the constant of integration, right? So let's see. Sorry, I forgot to put this down here. Plus, let's turn this into 1 half x squared minus 11x plus c. And that is our, that's the uh, integral of this whole thing here all put together, OK? B. On this one here, we actually have these two terms here squared. So really what we have to do, we don't have any rules to simplify this with yet. So what we're going to have to do is we're actually going to have to multiply these two out, right? 5 minus x squared times another 5 minus x squared, right? So if we you can FOIL it out, right, or do the hawk what or you know or you can do the box whatever you do to um, multiply your binomials whatever works 5 times 5 is 25 that's first right um, outside is going to be 5 times x squared 
So that's going to be, oops, minus 5 times negative x squared is negative 5x squared. i for inside is negative x squared times 5 is another negative 5x squared. And then l for last is negative x squared times negative x squared is positive x to the fourth. And some of you may be asking, it's like, why do you see, why did he call it a hawk? Because look, this looks a little bit like a hawk's beak, right? So uh, anyway, so this here, we're going to rewrite now as the integral of, I'm going to write my x to the fourth first, just because I like to write my higher powers first. So I'm going to write x to the fourth, negative 5x squared, negative 5x squared is negative 10x squared, and then plus 25. And then we're just going to um, integrate each one of those, right? So take 4 plus 1 is going to be x to the fifth. Put that whole thing over 5, right? Because whatever that power is goes underneath. And then let's see, 2 plus 1 is 3. So we got negative 10x cubed all over 3. And then that's 25x to the first, right? Plus 1 is going to be 25x squared all over 2. OK, so then, oh, sorry, that's not x to the first. That's x to the, let's back up here. That's x to the, there is no x there, so that's x to the 0, so we add 1. Sorry about that. So that is going to be plus 25 x to the first and we can put a one underneath there but it really doesn't uh, really doesn't change anything right so if we uh, simplify this with our write our fractions here we got one fifth x to the fifth minus ten thirds x to the third plus 25 x plus our constant okay all right and then C um, there's really, there's a couple different ways that we can do this, so I'm going to show you both ways. If you look here, this is really one-third times one over x squared. So really this one-third with our first rule can come out front here. Um, you don't have to, but it just makes it a little bit easier. So I'll, I'll try to show you uh, both ways here and see, see which one you like. So we've got one-third times now and then now we're just going to do the uh, antiderivative of 1 over x squared but really we're going to move that x squared so let's back up here we're going to move that x squared to the top and turn that into x to the negative second right so one third of x to the oops negative second so we want to do the do our antiderivative of that add 1 to that negative 2 and so we have one third of negative two and negative one is x to the negative first, and we got to divide that by negative one as well. So we get one third times negative x to the negative first. And if we want to write this without negative exponents, we'd write that as one third times negative one over x. Okay which then, would, if we multiply that by one-third, we get negative one-third, one over three x, really, right? Okay, now if we do that without putting that one-third out front, let's just see how it looks a little bit different. So we've got, oh, let me not forget putting plus, uh, add an RC in there, constant of integration, okay? If we're going to do this one without putting the one-third out front, we can just leave the one-third there. But then that x squared still has to come to the top, so it's one-third x to the negative second, right? <clears throat> and then to do our antiderivative, we got to add one to that. So we get one-third x to the negative first, right? So then we got to take that whole thing divided by negative 1, which basically just means switch the sign, right? So that's negative 1 third x to the negative first, and then that x to the negative first has to go down. So that's where we get our negative 1 third 1 over 3x, right? Plus our constant. 
Okay, and if you'll notice, we get the exact same thing there. Okay, all right, that's all we have for rules of integration. If you have any further questions, please feel free to ask. Thanks.